Let's show how you actually open ports in a Curator install, particularly when you have VMware Fusion. This is the way I did it uh, uh, using my home network. One important consideration, if you open port 443, or any port, but 443 in particular, you the only thing that protects your console from any intruder is your password. So this is something that is fine for you to do on a Curator CE, uh, but not in a production environment. And forgive me for giving this warning, you probably already know this. And this video was created because when you retrieve, at least currently is the case, when you retrieve uh, logs from Azure's Event Hub, you need to open those three ports, including 443. Okay. So with all that warning, let's talk first about the router. And again, this is how you do it on a, on a setup router. But the idea is, you know that you have a public IP that your uh, ISP provide for you. And you can get that by type opening a browser and type, what's my IP? And you get multitude of services that give you that. So in my case, let's say that it is this one. Actually, I'm going to renew the lease once the video finishes. Uh, and this is the public IP address that I have. Now, you need to do a double trick. Again, your objective in the end is that you will be able for port 443 to do HTTPS and then put 69.120.232.1 and because they say it has the S, will be port 443, and bang, you get to log in into the Curator console. And now you see why this is kind of dangerous, right? Because you don't have any any firewall protecting you from that. So the first part to, uh, to achieve this is to do what is called on the home router, or any router, port forwarding. And you're going to be doing a trick. You're going to say, well, anything that comes from port 443, please forward that to port, and I made this up, uh, 887. For 5671, do 8111, and for 5672, 8112. And I chose those numbers just kind of randomly. Now, on the other end, you have your Mac OS, in my case it's Mac OS, in case it might be a Windows, what, whatever is. And this machine within the network, from, from the NAT, because the, that's what the, your router is doing, you're going to have, so in my case, again, you use Windows, you do it differently, but my address in my local area network is actually this one and this changes. I have the HCP, so it's going to change. You can figure this out by going into your operating system, command, uh, open a command window, and do uh, IP config in Windows in Unix in the Mac is if config, and that gives you what IP address you have. Now the second trick that you need to do is to go into VMware in Windows. Fusion, uh, VMware on the Windows, this is a GUI. Under the Mac, you need to edit this file, and I'll show you where that is, called nat.conf, and then you're going to do the reverse trick. Now, the curator box gets on the VMware, and I have a NAT uh, uh, configuration for the network adapter. The address that I have is 172.16.60.10. That's my ad address within this uh, network fusion, and this is actually VMNet 8. I'll show you that in a second. But what, I'm, what I need to do is go into the NAT.com and say, hey, whatever comes on port 8A7, translate that into the address of my curator box and send it on port 443. And that way, whenever I go here, over port port 3, I get thrown into 8887, and then I get thrown back to 443 on the local address of my curator box. Same thing for the other two ports. Now, 
this one is going to be the reverse and this one and that does the trick it's actually harder to do it on under the Mac than it is on the Windows so let me show you the configuration of uh, my router and you go under in my case this brand name of this this ISP provider you go on their poor management and here you actually edit and you add you know those rules and you say again you see it that uh, 5671 goes to port 18111 uh, and this is the address of my Mac OS and in case it would be your Windows the, the one in Windows the one that you get with IP config in Mac when I what you get on if config and this changes if you have DHCP and all that right so that's what you need to do for the first part of the trick for this part the port forwarding now for the second part again on Windows is a GUI interface uh, but on VMware Fusion there's no interface to that so you need to go into this configuration in uh, VMware Fusion so this directory rather go into VMnet8 which is your NAT and under here there is a NAT.conf and on this file you need to actually scroll on the button and these are the entries that I added in my case as you can see I'm telling 8111 5671 the reverse this one is for 443 and 5672 that's all it takes again I want to emphasize that if you do this you need to know what you're doing you do this at your own risk you are uh, basically opening the door through a port so all the protection that your firewall give you you are throwing it away in commercial routers there are ways of you to for you to specify it. Uh, and even in, in Curator you can do the same you can uh, you can specify at the at the OS level or at the router level well I only gonna allow these IP addresses from Microsoft uh, event uh, from Microsoft Azure to be able to be the one who can uh, get to enjoy this port forwarding and nobody else So in that way, when you put uh, HTTPS and the address of your public IP, bang, you get to the Curator console. So again, very risky to do this. Make sure you have a very strong password. And this is fine if you are doing on your, again, your Curator CE, you're testing things out in a, in a production environment. Uh, that's something that you need to make sure that you talk to your networking guys to, uh, to find ways of mitigating this exposure